<laughs> yeah, if you turn around, I'm surprised that Pisu didn't block that second uh, ramp. I'm not, I think he was just going to rely on the Dragoons to protect it. Zelos, in the meantime, being very intelligent, all his buildings spread out, being very careful against that Reaver push. A uh, couple more uh, Vultures built. He hasn't speed upgraded them yet. I don't think he's going to rely on them on the long, time, on the long term. I think he's just going to use those mines to try to protect his general secondary. Uh, more supply equals going down, so as you can see, Zelos preparing for a push of his own. But uh, again, I think he's going to run right into Zelos. Oh, wow. A lot of siege tanks on the ridge. He's going to start pushing out now. Going to bring those uh, vultures down for... Uh, try to basically bring those vultures down for a harass. Going to bring those vultures down for a harass in Bisu's main. Maybe he uh, sneak, snuck around. And I'm not sure if he knows it's secondary. In the meantime, that dropship going in the background. And that, that again, there's nothing to stop the Zelt and the Reaver. Two SEVs down. Let's see uh, how many more SEVs... Oh, five SCVs down uh, right there. A very successful harass for Bisu thus far, taking out seven SCVs, immediately going to the secondary. Uh, and, and that's pretty... I, I like that placement by Zelos, actually, at the secondary. That's very good placement. But in the meantime, what he ha what uh, what has happened is Zelos has not had time with those vultures because uh, because Bisu pressed that uh, that attack up. That is basically delaying Zelos and allowing Bisu to just tech up uh, and push. And every time... He does have a tank at that siege position. I don't know how successful just a single siege tank is going to be. And, oh, man, just bleeding units here. That, that Dragoon's down, but that Reaver still just attacking Zelos' secondary being a little careless here, losing, he's going to lose all his SCVs here, uh, just absolutely devastating, finally managed to take that Reaver out, he had, uh, I think he has about six or seven, and now he's starting to do that turret push, and I really feel like that's what he needs to do, uh, and let's see if Bisu basically has enough forces, if he has a large enough economy, where he can basically shut this down just by, uh, throwing a mass amount of units, out into Zelos' forces. I think this is what he was expecting all along. I'm surprised Zelos was so conservative with this and didn't uh, go forward, but really Bisu forced him into it with those shuttles. Uh, and as you can see, those mines absolutely doing nothing. You really have to have a Goliath or two in here, a little bit of Comsat to take care of those observers, otherwise those mines again mean nothing. Uh, and, and it's just going to be that steady turret push, and as you can see, more gateways going down, and that's a ton of gateways. That's about, what, okay, I think about eight, nine gateways down for Bisu, so Bisu's absolutely just going to try to bull over Zelos at this point. Zelos only has those four factories down. He's way behind in production, uh, and that, you can see just the Zealot bombs going off in the meantime. And uh, really, at Bisu, really far ahead here, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of tanks down, but uh, wow, just pushing up on these forces. Zelos is absolutely, oh, his tank line's just getting devastated left and right. Bisu just charging up now, and I think he can basically stream at this point. Uh, looks like it's going to be stopped momentarily because he ran out of Zealots. But as you can see, he lost about six or seven tanks uh, to just three or four Zealots between dropships uh, and everything else. And then as soon as the other forces uh, pushed up, that entire tank line was absolutely devastated. Only four tanks left up. And really, if Zealous is going to compete here, I think he expanded to that 9 o'clock position. I can't tell. Uh, I, I wish they'd move over it on the map right there. But as you can see, a 9 o'clock position on the minimap, an expansion might be going up right there. Bisu might just be trying to do a seal here, put some mines out. Uh, and I think Bisu realizes it. He's going to start taking mines out in this general area. Uh, Bisu in absolute control, in my opinion, using the observers. And in a moment, he's just going to have an overwhelming force. I don't think Zelos is going to have anything to stop it, especially because he's dedicated those vultures. Uh, and, and really, he's, he hasn't been doing a good job protecting this far. I take it back. It doesn't look like Zelos is going to do that turret push. He's just trying to secure another secondary. I thought he was going to push down with those mines, he might have decided to kind of opt just to hold that uh, that 9 o'clock expansion, deciding basically he's, he can't push forward because Beast is doing just too good a job uh, destroying his mines, those drop shuttles up, and he's got to be careful with those mines, those drop shuttles up, uh, those drop shuttles immediately going to the back, the front, uh, going to the back, going for that secondary probably, uh, maybe even the main of Zelos. Looks like Zealous is just going to take those vultures and pin them there, uh, kind of like a linebacker scouting a running back. Uh, but really, they're kind of pinned between these two forces. I don't think he can he can afford to kind of just keep those vultures back. And Dark Templar dropping one Dark Templar, a couple of Zealots, but the Dark Templar spotted by that turret. The Zealots taking down, and here comes this attack. Uh, and Zealous did an excellent job of micromanagement right there. Uh, Bisu not being a very effective in that attack at all. And as you can see, they're pointing out that turret, that uh, Dark Templar having no effect on on Zealous's line. That just shows experience. Experience. experience on Zealous' part uh, really had a good plan there. But right now, three expansions down uh, for Bisu, but I think that's starting to be equalized. 
I, I think that here comes that uh, again that that other command center. I'm not sure if that expansion is up at that nine o'clock position. Hopefully they'll spot it out in a second. Armory going up, so uh, going for upgrades, maybe going for tanks. He's getting down more factories, so he's starting to equalize that. And if Bisu doesn't push up in a few seconds, he's actually just going to get uh, kind of tank rolled here in a minute. But as you can see, a ton of forces flooding up for Bisu. I think he's going to be able to take this out very easily. More pylons going down, uh, and a Templar archive. Actually, I take it back. Maybe it wasn't a Dark Templar there. Uh, I was assuming it was a Dark Templar there at that position. It just wasn't in view, but I guess uh, my mistake. Uh, but still, beautiful, beautiful micromanagement by Zealous, managing to take out the Zealots left and right. Uh, and, and as you can see, Bisu just trying to uh, pin those forces. I'm not sure if he's realized he's going to expand on his own at that 9 o'clock position. And I don't think he realizes uh, basically that, that uh, Zelos has a little bit of force. You can see on the mini-map that little blip of white over there. Uh, Zelos in the meantime has taken that protected uh, inner expansion, uh, kind of floated out there. But that's a little dangerous considering he doesn't have any kind of mobile units uh, to get out there. If Bisu does do a drop on that expansion, he doesn't have anything to stop it. He's pushing up with those vultures. He might be going after a secondary push, or maybe he's just trying to bait these zealots in. He's doing a very good job of micromanaging, picking off those dragoon, or, I'm sorry, those zealots, just running up, going to pick up zealots left and right, stay under that dropship, and wow, Zelos doing a very good job picking off Bisu's forces at this point. He has full production there, so he's trying. He's basically equalized, and Bisu just trying to stay ahead economically, trying to stay one step ahead. Uh, but I don't think that's been successful up to this point. As you can see, his main dwindling a little bit on resources here. He's getting that second Protoss robots, uh, robotics facility, so I think he's going to dedicate uh, specifically to more drop. And we'll see if Zelos uh, gets a commsat off on his main and, and, and kind of adjusts. Really, he, I think what Bisu's thinking is, is I'm getting sealed out. I need to get more dropships so I can break that. A starport going up though for Zelos, and if Zelos decides to produce some rays, which I think, yeah, he sensed that, if he if he produces some rays, that could really uh, absolutely devastate any sort of dropship attempt that Bisu uh, is pulling out, and uh, right now Bisu kind of trying to, he, he's not really in a contain, but he's definitely trying to expand across the map, those vultures uh, kind of planting mines, just trying to uh, spot some things out, in the meantime, looks like they found that northern expansion, he's just going to try to pick off as many probes as he can before those cannons do as much, uh, basically, yeah, he's been neutralized kind of in that corner, but that uh, pylon little out of position. He's uh, Bisu going to have to dedicate some forces to protect that. That's a little bit uh, of, wow, losing a, a Dragoon there. That's very rare for Bisu. He's going to clear that minefield with that Zealot and that Observer in the meantime. And a huge force for Zealous at this moment. Uh, I would expect Zealous to actually push up here in a second. Uh, yeah, as you can see, with just a large force and, and Bisu a little bit out of position here. He has his Dragoons out in the field. He's going to do a large Dark Templar drop. Uh, just going to kind of rely on Zealous not having kind of a, a, a very successful defense at his base. Again, uh, really I worry more uh, about that more at that, that uh, kind of enclaved drop secondary. And it uh, looks like the, uh, level 1 upgrades and the extended upgrades on those Goliaths, uh, I, I should say Charon booster, and uh, now that Dark Templar out, and we'll see, yeah, uh, he's going to easily be compsat and take it down, but Bisu, uh, being kind of the brilliant player that he is, bringing up three dropships, I assume that's just entirely filled uh, with some Dark Templar, and he's starting to tech up the Arbiter Tribunal, and I think Zealous is being a little complacent here. If he wants to win this game, he needs to press up quickly. He cannot just starve Bisu out, especially on a map that this large. I, it doesn't look like he did actually have an expansion there, getting up a lot more. Uh, getting that science facility out. I guess he's he, uh, starting to push towards level 2 uh, upgrades, but he's just denying that secondary, I guess, uh, kind of that protected sen secondary from Bisu, just going to make sure that he doesn't lose his barracks. Uh, in the meantime, wow, large, you can just see that absolutely huge force, Zelos expanding again to the north. Bisu definitely had uh, economically, and here comes Zelos. Zelos is going to start pushing up, a little bit of a miscue on the ramp there, and this has kind of been Zelos' weaknesses, is in critical times, uh, he hasn't micromanaged very well, and getting, uh, as you can see right here, those vultures getting pinned in between those dragoons, in between those dropships, losing a lot of units there, and now his natural expo, man, his natural expo is wide open, his main is wide open, and this is going to be the match right here. Uh, Zelos is just going to try to push up, but I think uh, Bisu can just just bring back his forces, and I take that back, Zelos is going to bring his forces back, try to save his main, going to bring all the SAVs off the line, going to attack where he can, uh, Templar down, a, a side storm, absolutely ineffective side storm uh, going off, and Zelos, I guess, just bringing those uh, SAVs off the line, dancing them around, and Zelos somehow managed to just absolutely destroy all those forces without taking uh, a huge amount of losses, but that has put him on the back corner, it looks like he did get a, a lose a lot of side storm, side storm going off all over those tanks, though, uh, and that's going to hurt. 
Those dropships still up. Uh, somehow, Zelos managed to survive there. I thought he was completely out of position. Was going to lose a lot of those forces. Looks like a little bit of minesweeping for the Zealots now, but Bisu in a very commanding position still. Uh, definitely, as you can see, still a couple of units here and there in Zelos' base. Zelos is not producing any minerals at the moment. He only has that kind of uh, 9 o'clock out, or I'm sorry, 3 o'clock hour position. Here comes that Arbiter, and I'm not sure uh, what what Zelos is going to do about that Arbiter. He hasn't produced a lot of Goths at this point. He does not have Goliaths anywhere, as you can see. Almost entirely tanks, almost entirely uh, vultures. As soon as, and basically as soon as that out, that uh, Arbiter's out, I'm not sure that he's going to have enough comps out. I mean, he only has uh, basically three expansions, maybe that fourth expansion to the north down, and really he's worried about protect, protecting that. I'm not sure if he got a comps out 